thing, and they're all back behind here. Ben Poole often hears coyotes, but rarely sees them. But Friday, at the end of a nice trail walk, my dog and a coyote were standing face to face, fixing to go at it. He was able to get the two animals apart. Then he came at my legs first. I smashed him in the side of the head with the cup. He came back. I smashed him again. He jumped up at my face. When he came, jumped at my face, I stepped to the side, hit him in the side of the head. He screamed, went down. Poole managed to get he and his dog up the street and home, but he says the coyote was relentless. I, it was extremely aggressive. It did not respond to anything that I've ever heard, which was making noise and everything. The more I did that, the matter it got, and the matter it came at me. Desperate times meant Poole got a gun and went off in his truck. I pulled up beside it and was going to shoot it out the window because I didn't want to get out and fight it again. And when I did, it jumped up at my window at the truck. I rolled the window down, backed up, went three or four times at it, and finally I ran over. No regrets? None. <laughs> I, you know, I would do it again in a heartbeat. The pools figure the coyote population is only going to get larger, and they fear it's going to make it even more complicated. That's why they'd like some more support from state and local officials. If I had been bitten, everyone would have been here in a heartbeat doing something. But since I wasn't bitten, nobody was going to come and do anything. When you like, walk through the woods, you, you find dead animal carcasses along the way, then you can see the, the coyotes are done. Well, in a lot of neighborhoods, more